And it's time to go through this trailer frame by frame and break down all of these characters' abilities. All the known ones, at least. A lot of the characters don't use all their abilities in this trailer, sadly. And some characters are missing entirely from here. Luckily, we do have Steam pictures of certain characters like Storm and Punisher. Magneto, we get to see some of their abilities at the end of the video. So stay tuned for all that. And here we go. This is Marvel Rivals, the new 6v6 team shooter. I am super excited for this. Here we go. Penny Parker over there. You can barely see her. She's very blurry using a web zip. Not as horizontally as Peter does, but kind of just zipping to the bridge right there. We can go frame by frame. There she goes, web zipping to that bridge. Doctor Strange in the forefront here. We can see all his abilities. He is clearly using his left shift to fly up on his cape. He moves pretty slow up there, but he's just flying right over the escort carriage below him, which has the two goats on it. If you've seen Thor Love and Thunder, the two very annoying goats, I hope they don't sound like they did in that movie in this game that would be awful iron man above is using his left shift ability he has two different flight stances we'll see the other one later on but right here he is using the booster mode which just lets him go horizontally very fast in the air bruce is just running that's his default run below black panther running over there as well and then what is that I'm peter menace. appears peter can web swing he has three we see his hud later on he can do three swings and on the left side of the screen we see penny parker climbing a wall which is pretty cool um don't know where she's going but she's doing something typical genji main over there we'll actually get to see all of dr strange's abilities in this video so that's pretty cool but those are his hud icons below and here we go this is bruce banner he's got a gun with 25 ammo in it on the left side of the screen you can see that he has 200 health can die very easily he's got a left shift ability which seems to be some kind of grenade he has it there on his belt don't know if it heals or if it's used as a weapon probably more so a weapon and his ultimate is all charged up the q ability which he uses here in a second but first off we do see dr strange with his right click ability his shield which we saw before right here right next to his health bar it has 800 health much like a reinhardt shield would be that's exactly how it acts right there. And yes, we do see later on that teammates can shoot through it. There's Loki up there with his scepter. Don't know if that's a clone or if that's really him. Probably really him because I think he shoot yeah, he's shooting right there at Doctor Strange. Here is Bruce and his thick thighs. Oh, there he goes, turning into the Hulk. And his HUD changes. He gains 700 extra health, getting all the way up to 900 here. And he actually can get more later on, as we will see. He has a new primary weapon, which is just punching infinite ammo obviously you don't have to reload your punch and a new ability appears his team up ability which is his c it's like a little atomic icon something that's not on the hud kind of i mean you can see in the middle right of the screen he's got a bar charging up he is just holding space right here so he can hold down space can't jump while it's red so you can't do like a mini jump but once it gets out of that red zone there he goes he's just charging up his jump holding space loki's shooting at him he is so unbothered but he is charging that jump up, about to jump onto Namor, and once it's fully charged, he unleashes it here. And yeah, that's just a passive that Hulk gets. He can just super jump with the spacebar. And he just knocks him out of the air. Doesn't seem to do any damage to him, just kind of collides with him. Don't know if it's really going to be used for that much. At least I don't think he did damage, but right here, the next frame, he's at half health. So I don't know if he's just now seeing Namor's health there, or what. But he unleashes some punches on him. You can see when he actually does do damage the health turns white and then it disappears so that should be what damage looks like that's why i don't think the actual jump did damage to him but he unleashes two punches on him and then thunder claps him rockets up there you can see his primary fire which is just missing iron man because he's a terrible shot i don't know what he's shooting at but <laughs> here we go he is using his c ability to infuse iron man this is iron man his hud he's got a laser weapon arm on the left then some kind of gatlin I guess for his right click ability down at the bottom left obviously we see him here in his hover state probably just holding space to stay hovered left shift is his booster e can transform him into a new suit which gives him an impact grenade ability which we will see as well as a laser but right here when he's infused he goes into that new state to deal extra damage so you can see on the bottom left his icons are about to change he has two new weapons which is this big laser the right click 
which he uses to destroy this statue. They will definitely be making some Asgardian Accords for that one. Absolutely melts Rocket. Rocket also has a jump pack. You can see he's hovering around with it right now. Don't know if he can hover as long as other characters, but he can definitely at least boost a couple times with it. He dies. Then Iron Man switches over to his left click ability in this stance, which is impact grenades. So they just explode like that. I guess they deal extra damage because he's infused with gamma. And his ultimate is all charged over there, which we see later on. He also has an F ability, and it might look like he's using that here, but I don't think he is. I'm pretty sure this is his left click that he's using. But it does turn red as if you can't use it while, I guess just while firing, it turns red. But it's a bunch of missiles, and I'm guessing it's probably similar to the Midnight Suns card where he kind of just like opens up his chest or shoulders and missiles just fly out. It's the micro missile ability that probably targets everybody in the area. So hopefully that's his F ability. That would be really cool. Also during this fight, we can see a lot of abilities from other characters. Hulk is kind of just punching the air over there, maybe trying to destroy that statue that fell in front of them. Peter is slinging webs at people, just shooting them. All those little yellow things flying out from down there. One, two, three, four, five. That is Doctor Strange's main primary weapon. He shoots five little yellow magic daggers, I guess, at you in a burst fire. And it does say Doctor Strange has six primary ammo on his HUD. I don't think one shot wastes five and then you have to reload. I'm pretty sure one shot just wastes one, but he uses five bursts. So he actually kind of has like 30 projectiles before having to reload. And something that's a bit hard to notice, but Groot actually placed... He is playing Fortnite out there. He is building. Groot just built a little barricade and is walking over it to get over the statue. Very interesting, that ability. Also, Black Panther here is just punching the air. Look at him down there. What is he doing? Just punching. Not super helpful at all. Groot right there launches a root at people. And it looks like it just like... He's either just jumping over that barricade or that root is actually like swinging him towards them, kind of like a Penny Parker ability. But yeah, Black Panther down there is just swinging in the air and not doing anything. I don't know. Maybe his claws can deflect projectiles. So he's just hoping someone shoots at him. Right here, we get to see the HUD for Spider-Man. He just has a punch ability as his main weapon. His right click is obviously the web shooter that we saw in the last um, part of the video. And it wastes webs that are in the middle of the screen, which he has five of. So he can web shoot five times before it has to, I guess, recharge. His left shift, he has three of them, and that's just his web swinging to get around quickly. His E ability is probably a big web that he can just attach someone with, wrap them up for a second, maybe stun them. And his F is an uppercut, which he has two of. And right here, his ultimate is all the way charged. He's going to go through Doctor Strange's portal. That is Doctor Strange's F ability. His E, I'm pretty sure he put on the point earlier, and now he just presses F. Or I mean his F he put on the point earlier. Now he presses E, draws this portal to connect to the other one, and the team can go through. And then his ability, Doctor Strange's ability, goes on cooldown for at least 60 seconds, as we'll see later in the trailer. Right here, we can actually see Penny Parker's main weapon, which is just that big burst of web coming out from under her, or under Peter right there. There's a big burst of web, and it connects and hits Groot. We don't see how much damage it does, but that's what she shoots out. And Groot's main weapon, which is just this green stuff that he shoots out magic as well has a big fire barrier in front of her don't exactly know what that does but probably just deflects some damage or it's just a bug because honestly it, that magic fire stuff doesn't really look that good so i don't know what that is but it's probably her flame ability that we haven't seen yet right here peter uses his ultimate it gets all wasted and everyone in the room gets webbed up and dies so massive damage massive crowd control webbing everyone up i guess the rest of the team just eliminates them Right here, a web goes past the screen as well. Um, that is also Penny Parker's main weapon. I don't know where she's shooting at, just shooting up in the sky, I guess. Same with Doctor Strange, shooting up in the air with that burst fire five bullet weapon. And it knocks down some pillars as well, so this whole roof can, I guess, collapse. Now we got Lucio over here skating around. She's got a 30 ammo weapon on the bottom left which is just a bunch of icicles she can shoot out. And it seems like when she clicks her main weapon, it shoots out a burst of three, but actually uses three ammo down there. So they're using different things for Doctor Strange and her. Doctor Strange clicks his ability once and it uses one, but it shoots out five projectiles. She clicks her ability once, shoots out three, and it actually uses three. So that's kind of inconsistent, but 
whatever. Maybe it's not a burst weapon. Maybe she actually held it there and we can't tell. But she does use it again and it goes down to 24. So it does seem like a three shot burst. And she's actually targeting her allies here and healing Groot. So as a support, I guess her weapon does some healing as well. Right here, she uses her left shift, gains a new projectile down at the bottom left instead of her main burst weapon. And just like the icon indicates, when she uses left shift, she raises her hand in the air and does something. I guess that's just a way to change her weapon, but we don't get to see it actually used. Right here, she uses her team up ability on Namor, which I guess is her partner in this. Because I'm pretty sure almost every uh, team up ability can only be used on one person. So you'd want to build your team with those characters and their team up abilities. But yeah, a very cool looking character. She obviously has a stance switch with her shift ability from a burst weapon that heals teammates to an infinite ammo weapon that probably deals some damage. And I'm wondering, since we only see team up abilities from support and tank characters, I'm wondering if damage characters just don't have them. As with the Namor here, he does have a C ability, but it doesn't seem to be something that you target on someone and inject into them or team up with. He actually uses it because he's given it from Luna and it creates an ice octopus, unlike the other octopus next to him that are just regular. So that is what him and Luna's team up ability does. And he's kind of like a Torbjorn kind of of this game or engineer from TF2 where he can place down turrets, except this time he can have multiple. Back to this shot, we see Iron Man using his laser unpowered from Bruce Banner. He's also missing the entire thing. So Black Panther's running at them. Namor's throwing some spears that do a ton of damage. So right there, he hits him directly with a spear and boom, Black Panther's health is almost all the way down. Black Panther also has some kind of ability here to gain purple lines on his armor probably about to unleash just he's probably absorbing a bunch of energy and then it's going to unleash it as he does in the movies but he obviously has a buff on him as there are up arrows all around his character floating around and he's glowing purple but then he dies so i guess he doesn't unleash the energy also dr strange right here has his ability up his shield but that gets taken out by groot's projectile which lands on it right there or dr strange just puts it away to start shooting people spider-man swings in and namor just instantly chucks a spear at him and destroys him but yeah this is namor's primary throw ability that he uses on black panther here just chucking spears at him but then the one he uses on peter is different it's his right click ability after he presses c and drops that extra octopus ice turret down he presses right click and enhances his spear throw it seems like it comes out much faster it kind of just teleports into peter there it's kind of no in between it's just maybe as a hit scan type ability. It's a very fast one and his spear is glowing yellow in the bottom right, indicating that he pressed right click. Now his left shift ability down there is a protective bubble of water and his E is the octopus that he's placing down. The protective water bubble we saw at the beginning when Hulk jumped onto him. And right next to his health, obviously it shows that he has three octopus on the map, the maximum of three as well. Although the indicator doesn't tell you that you have an ice one on the map as well, it kind of would be nice to maybe have one of the bars glow blue, indicating that you have one of those on. And those octopus just seem to target at the same time. They both just shoot out and hit Doctor Strange or miss him. No, they do hit him. They just don't seem to do a ton of damage, which is good. But not just that blue projectile, they also then shoot out a green projectile onto him. So don't know what the difference is, what they do. They seem to do the same amount of damage. Maybe they were enhanced for a second when he right clicked, but um, yeah. Now onto Loki. His scepter here is at four out of 10, so he has 10 shots in it. We saw him using that earlier on the beginning of the video on Bruce Banner, so we know what that looks like. Right here, he places his clone or decoy with the E, which I think just stands still and doesn't really do anything, but could be a good distraction still. And a new health bar appears next to his health bar, which is his clone with the same amount of health as him, 250. I'm hoping the clone does more than just stand there and it actually like pretend shoots at people but doesn't do damage to them. You don't even have to have it move around or anything, but just being there as a decoy is really nice. Now we see a right click ability that he has as well on the bottom right, which is obviously an invisibility. Like the icon is basically someone cloaked. It's like every cloak icon in every game ever. So, but yeah, he uses E, places a decoy. It says press F to swap. So you can press F, swap into it with a snap of a finger. Don't know if that leaves a decoy in your place. I think that would be really cool. Or if these characters can have like extra abilities like that that can be customized. But yeah, the only ability we don't see from Loki is his shift, which obviously has a heal icon. So it's a big AOE heal ability. 
So that is nice. He is a support character. Black Panther runs at him uh, using his buffed up armor with the arrows going above it. And Loki ults onto Black Panther, kind of like Echo in Overwatch, where you just become that character, has 0% in his ult, kills Black Panther with his shift dash ability. And he's in this state for 15 seconds, as you can see in the middle right of the screen. Now he's got his ult charged up. It charges very fast, much like Echo in Overwatch. His right click looks like it would be some kind of spear ability. And his left click we saw earlier on is just infinite ammo down there, just punching. Right here, he kicks the air because he uses his E ability, which is a vortex where he kicks and then flies forward at the enemy and eliminates Spider-Man. His space we don't get to see in the video, but it does look like a wall climb ability, much like Penny Parker. Although I don't know why, some characters have their spacebar indicated on screen and some don't. Like Hulk didn't have a spacebar icon on the bottom, but he can obviously super jump. Iron Man can also hover in the air, but didn't have a spacebar icon on the screen. So Black Panthers might have more to it, making it like a full ability instead of a passive. But then right here, Black Panther uses his ultimate ability, becomes Bast, and destroys a bridge and a Doctor Strange while he's at it. Huge hitbox on that. You can see he just clicks the air right here way above, like four or three Doctor Stranges above Doctor Strange and he still damages him. So just a huge chomp, does a ton of damage and Doctor Strange is dead. The bridge is collapsed. Don't know if the escort can still move through that or if you're able to use destruction to make the escort stop moving. I don't really know. Yeah, the only thing I'm confused at with Black Panther is that he can buff his armor up. Maybe it's his passive after taking damage he gains the purple stripes on his armor and the buff icon that he can unleash the energy at a certain time but we don't quite know yet because the hud indicates that he like doesn't have that ability but it could be his space ability potentially although i would think that would be his just normal jump who knows but we do know he has that purple buff ability it's just not really indicated here on the hud also it's good to note that you can actually tell that this is loki i don't know if you appear as a teammate for your team probably not but you can tell this to loki just because there's green holographics hovering off the character. A little like shards of glass, I guess, which doesn't typically happen with Black Panther. But here we get our first look at magic. She has an infinite ammo sword swing that she can do. Her right click fire ability we don't see in the video, but I'm guessing it was what we saw earlier on when Spider-Man went through that portal, just holding up a fire shield in front of her, I guess. Although I wouldn't want that to be the ability. I definitely want her to like shoot out flames with her sword or something or have some kind of stance switch but seemingly that is what it is right here she uses her e ability to dash in and uppercut penny parker who dies and no she does not come out of her mech when she dies here she just completely dies out it says penny parker is eliminated she also gained some shield from that right there and right here she ults turning into darth child or dark child i don't know why i said darth i'm watching too much star wars but yeah, even her icon down in the bottom left changes, which is pretty cool. And cool little detail here, the HUD kind of just bounces, which is nice. I don't know if the HUD is going to do that for all characters, but right there, boom, little bounce. Kind of nice. Yeah, she's got a giant sword, swings it around a bit, seems to have some huge AoE attacks that go through enemies. Then she presses shift here and uses one of her limbo portals to just jump through um, and I guess appear somewhere else. Right next to her ult icon in the middle of the screen, you can see that she has three seconds in that state. So it's kind of like a Reaper Wraith form almost, where she's just completely invisible from enemies and then can press shift again or let go of shift to dash out of the state and come out of a portal anywhere she wants within that three second time frame. She decides to just go right behind them here. This character looks really, really fun. That portal ability looks insane. So she just uses one second. I imagine the places you can get in three seconds. And right here, she hits both Spider-Man and Black Panther and gains a ton of shield from it as well, going from 308 to 336. So each swing of her sword gives her shield. She has very high sustain, it seems, and could potentially be kind of like a tank on your team in some ways if she just keeps doing damage. I just feel like she's going to be one of the strongest in the game for sure. Here we go, Rocket Raccoon, 250 health. He's got his main weapon right there, just a machine gun, and then his right click, which since he's a support, healing thing that he shoots out of his gun. 
His left shift is Rocket Boosters, which we saw earlier on in the fight against Iron Man when he was powered up by the Gamma. And his team up icon, the C ability he's about to use right now, it is his Groot team up, which he can hop on his shoulder. And we will see that right here. Doctor Strange is using his portal over there to defend his team. Penny Parker's shooting projectiles at Groot. Groot's taking damage. The ride icon appears and Rocket begins to jump onto Groot's shoulders. Now Groot is taking damage here, but on the sideline, you can see on the left side of the screen, Luna Snow is over there healing Groot, shooting icicles at him. So that is why he gets his health back. Groot is also using a large projectile here. Maybe his ultimate ability? Puts a giant root on the ground and it just grabs everyone with roots and brings them up to the wall. But yeah, Rocket rides Groot here and they just unleash mayhem on them. So yeah, while this team up activated, Groot has a bunch of healing icons coming out of him right there. And he also was able to throw some giant like stink bomb thing, some kind of fungus, I don't even know, but makes a bunch of green smoke, kills everybody in the area. And they even seem to be dropping something right there, or that might just be lingering effects of whatever Groot is doing, whatever this team up ability is leaving green smoke everywhere. And right after this, we do see Rocket's right click. He uses one right there, which is a little ball that people can go and pick up and it heals them. And he shoots out another one right there, right at the end. So that is Rocket's healing ability. We don't get to see his ultimate and we don't get to see his E, but the E looks to be probably the anti-gravity um, thing from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Maybe he puts it on the ground and people that step on it start floating in the air and you can easily shoot them. Or maybe that's the Q ability, a big AOE that makes people fly up in the sky. One of them is probably some kind of like drone ability or something. They kind of look like drones. Right here, this is Iron Man using his F ability or it might have been his E, whatever one was the rock, the micro missile one that locks onto people. We don't actually get to see it in the trailer, but here it is not in gameplay, I guess. Right here, he's in just his regular stance with his normal left click and right click abilities that we don't get to see much of, but he ultimates. And this ultimate is just one giant electric blast that kind of just hits everyone in that area and insta-kills them. So if you've ever played Valorant, Arena Rocket, that is basically what that is. And I'm guessing he t killed everyone there as we see Magic's body flying out, Spider-Man's body flying out, um, Groot appears on screen as dead, Pretty sure everyone died. As we can see, Iron Man has a new E and as we can see, Iron Man has a new E ability down there, which is different from when Bruce infused him and gammaed him up. So I guess that's just the regular stance switch icon before you get the gamma one, which is just the which I guess is just the one with more damage. Here is Penny Parker, although I don't think we actually get to see her in this form ever. She's just always gonna be in her mech, it seems. But yeah, she's got her left click ability there, which is her webs that we saw earlier on. She is ulting right here and leaving little micro drones behind her that leave electric webs and that leave a big AOE of electricity. And in this ult, she has 12 seconds of it. She just dashes through everyone, gains a bunch of shield as well, can just run in like wrecking ball, leaving drones behind that electrify people behind her, knocking people out of the way, probably knocking people off the map as well and we don't get to see any of her other abilities, but she has a lot of them. Her F, I'm guessing, is the leap that we saw at the very beginning of the trailer, and then her space bar is probably just a passive where she can climb walls, or that's her F, or the right click could be one of those, and the F could be the wall climb. We've seen her zip, we've seen her use her primary, we've seen her use her ult, and we've seen her wall climb. We've seen her do four things, we just don't know exactly which icons are for those. I'm guessing her shift is leaving drones behind, the same ones that she's leaving behind in this ultimate, although the ultimate just automatically places them for you. None of her icons go down. Her right click over there, um, where she can shoot out little spider drones also, that doesn't go down. Her E ability doesn't go down, so not a lot on Penny, sadly, but at least we do get to see her do a lot of things in the trailer. Just have no idea like which ability is which. Now we get to see Hulk's ultimate ability, which is insane. It's kind of like a buffed up version of Winston. So he goes to 1,550 health. He has this ult for at least 12 seconds here. It's at 10 right now. It's already been drained a little bit. As he's in it, he's still gaining more ult charge, unlike Penny Parker, which wasn't gaining any while dashing around, knocking people out of the way. Yeah, we can see Penny dashing here. She's not gaining any ultimate. Hulk is already at 1%. As he slams Loki, he starts getting more. But yeah, in this state, I guess you can just run around with a ton of health and then grab people and slam them down. I don't know if it's a one-shot ability 
or if you can only kill one person in it and then you go back to Bruce form. But I'm guessing right after you ult, you have to go back to Bruce form and not be in the Hulk state anymore. You have to re-earn that. That's what I would think. So maybe that's why it's charging so fast down there because he's that's gonna be his ult in Bruce form to go back to Hulk. So it charges very quickly. That is my best guess, much how like Baby Diva charges very quickly. Right here, Doctor Strange is using his burst um, main weapon right here at the screen. And this is his ultimate ability. Pretty sure the E is the main portal you place, and then the F is the portal you do in front of your team so that you can actually like all go through to the main portal that you placed earlier, or vice versa, whatever. But it is on a large 60 second cooldown. It looks like it's been on cooldown for a while as well, so probably more like an 80 to 90 second cooldown for the portal ability, which makes sense because you can get your whole team through right onto the point. This seems to be a big spawn area for the enemy team, right where you have to escort the payload to but this is his eye of agamotto ultimate he unleashes it everyone's health goes down a ton and you can see the main icons of the sanctum sanctorum just roaming around the area like that which is super cool everyone gets knocked into their astral forms and i guess stunned in place they're kind of just not doing anything anymore so for the next like three seconds they have to stand still or something which is super insane they don't do anything after they, they get hit by that if this is just a big stun like time lock they're locked in time by the um infinity stone or whatever that would be cool might be a little op though he just runs into a team fight and freezes everyone i would kind of like it better if it projects their astral form outward and just gives them a second hitbox that people can shoot at so instead of shooting at the main character, you can shoot at the astral form, but the main people can still move around and fight. I think that would be much more balanced, but we obviously don't know the balance yet until we get our hands on the game. Here is Luna Snow Lucio Ultimate. She also has an icon on the right side of her screen indicating that Groot is getting some kind of heal from her. Maybe her abilities also infuse with Groot. And maybe that's what we saw earlier on with like his big green mist ability or whatever we saw from Groot. But yeah, she has some kind of icon on the right side of the screen indicating that she's doing something to Groot. And I don't think it's just a heal on him because obviously Rocket Raccoon and Namor are both in her ultimate as well. But much like Lucio in Overwatch, they got the same HUD in front of us. You can toggle between two different songs, which one heals and the other one doesn't speed up like in Overwatch, but it probably will do damage since she's more of a damage dealer in the comics apparently she has a light crystal form and a dark ice form so probably health for the team and then the other one damages but hearing those songs is gonna be pretty cool toggling between two different songs i've always liked that about lucio and now people can just refer to her as the new lucio but yeah while in this state i guess you're just dancing don't know if you can primary attack we don't really see her doing it her ammo count doesn't go down but she kind of just dances and that's it can't use any other abilities they're all on cooldown so this is going to be a massive heal for the team and then we're going to see um some character poses here which don't matter too much but i would like if magic can flame up her sword and that's what that one missing ability is that has the fire icon on it so hopefully she can make her sword just like this right here we get to see galacta which i don't know much about except that she's the daughter of galactus which i've learned um, don't think she's going to be a playable character, probably just like the narrator over the game. Maybe like eventually she'll be added, but she's kind of like uh, too big. <laughs> Unless you get some pin particles or something, I don't know. And here is Storm. I keep almost saying Reinhardt for Magneto because he really looks like Reinhardt. But um, Storm, Magneto, Star-Lord, Mantis, Punisher, who is super buff in this game. Probably got some super soldier serum or something, I don't know. I hope not. I hope he's the first human character in the games. Or well, I guess Star-Lord will also be human, but he's kind of like half god, so. Yeah. Punisher is the first human in this game. But yeah, Star-Lord and him kind of don't really have powers. And then there's Scarlet Witch as well, which is, ooh, that's gonna be so fun to play as. And here's them bursting out of a building in Tokyo 2099, way in the future. Or it might be New York in the future, 2099. I'm pretty sure the Steam page said Tokyo 2099. So who knows, we might see Spider-Man 2099 in the game. I kind of think we see him right down there. If you guys see that, that is Miguel O'Hara, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this picture alone gives us some indication of their abilities. Not really too much, but it looks like Scarlet Witch has some red ball magic that she can shoot at people. Mantis also has a probably a long range projectile that she shoots. And Storm, it looks like a little blue ball of lightning as well. I'm guessing Scarlet Witch, Magneto, and Storm can all fly as well. But yeah, onto the Steam picture here, we see Loki escorting the point, shooting straight through Doctor Strange's shield at the enemy team. 
Punisher is trying to break down Doctor Strange's shield as well with his giant turret back there. So I guess he can just fortify an area, put a turret down, and control it, which is pretty sick. Namor is shooting some kind of yellow ball at people, probably placing an octopus back there or something. Looks like a projectile is shooting out of Hulk at someone. He probably just thunderclapped or something like that. Storm is electrocuting Magneto back there, who is also projecting up a barricade. The Magneto barricade looks more like something that your team would be able to shoot through to do bonus damage, kind of like Baptiste's ult in Overwatch, but I'm guessing it probably is just a normal barricade, except it's not as high as Magneto himself, so he can just get shot right over his own barrier so i don't know 100 about that or maybe he's floating and it's just an optical illusion i don't know but the barricade definitely does not cover all of magneto rocket is teamed up with Gru right there shooting luna snow is over there shooting at the enemy in her like ice lance stance instead of the burst icicles that heal teammates mantis looks like she's doing something over there probably healing the team since she's a support and scarlet witch is floating above the map so that's all pretty cool to see. I really am interested in Punisher's gameplay because I'm guessing he just does a ton of damage with that turret and walks around with like a minigun. So yeah, that's our first look at those extra characters right there. The only one we don't see in all of this is sadly Star-Lord. And I'm guessing he'd kind of be like the Tracer of the game. His guns are exactly like Tracer. He could probably move around pretty fast with his rocket boots and stuff. I don't know. I'm excited to see his gameplay eventually. Right here, another look at Magic and Black Panther. Not really doing much, just swinging there main weapons around and Bruce infusing Iron Man again showing off the destructible environments of the game. Now the steam page goes over destructible environments like 10 different times like they're making it a big point of this even though it doesn't look nearly as good as like the finals destruction but apparently it's gonna be used a lot to reshape maps so it looked like pretty amateur destruction in the trailer but I'm wondering how much it actually will matter. So if you're excited for Marvel's Rivals just as much as I am, definitely stay tuned to the channel for more in the future. I'll be trying my best to get into the alphas and get early footage up as quick as possible for you guys. But yeah, that is it for now. That is all the abilities we know about and uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.